hello, it's Lucy, Outdoor Learning Officer. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a log swing. Log swings are amazing. Swinging can be really soothing and calming, especially when you're in a woods and all you can see above you is green leaves and sunshine. So the knots I'm gonna teach you today is called an overhand loop and a lark's head knot. So there's only two knots we're gonna do, and we're gonna do two overhand loops and one lark's head, and then I will need a log to secure and make it into a swing. So you will need a tree that has a horizontal branch coming from it. So you can see it just above my head. I've got a tree over there, and the branch goes all the way along. So that is the one I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna show you how to do a log swing on this one. The rope that you have depends on how high your tree is. So mine's quite small, so I don't need too much of a long rope. But if you have a really high branch, Obviously, you'll need a little bit more rope. First, I need to check that the tree is safe so that I can do it. So, as you can see, there is lots of green leaves coming up to it, and it is strong and it is quite thick, so that is perfectly safe. Now, let's get started making a log swing. So, what you need, you need a long rope. If your rope is on the floor like mine, a trick is to make it into small loops first because this adds a little bit extra weight when you chuck it over the branch so that it swings and chuck just the end, you'll find it won't go too far and you'll be there for a while. So what I say to children when we're doing forest school is that your strong arm, so your writing hand arm, should hold the loose and your not strong arm should hold the end. And the left hand, so I'm right handed, is going to hold on tight and then I'm going to swing under arm and over with my right arm, which is my strong arm. So I'm just going to swing. So I'm going to show you the knot up close and then I'm going to do it on to the rope behind me. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do an overhand loop. So it's quite simple. You double up your rope, then with the looped end you turn it into a circle so it crosses over it and then you thread the end through the loop like so, so you have a little loop. So that is our overhand loop. So we're going to do two of these. One of them is going to make a little loop, and one of them we're going to do, but we're going to do it so that it has a big loop. So we're going to do the circle further up the rope, so we have a big loop. So now we know what to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another overhand loop, this time I'm going to do it so that it sits off the ground, so I'm going to go my knee height, so you double it up, and that's all around knee height, and then like I said, we're going to do the overhand knot at the top of the rope, so it's a big loop. So we double it, we turn it into a circle, thread it through, and we pull tight. Mine is quite small, but I'm just doing this for demonstrations. I might have a little go, but you want something a little bit thicker, but I haven't managed to find anything on my wall yet that's a bit thicker. So this is what I'm going to use for the time being to show you how to do it. So, this is called a lark's head knot. All I'm going to do is flip it up to make two loops and then push them around and then thread my stick through the two loops. And then you pull it down tight. And there you have your log swing. So what I'm going to do really quickly is show you a close-up of that. 
So I'm just going to show you a quick close up of the lark's head. So we've got our overhand loop and our big loop. So all you are doing with the end is turning the top, turning the bottom to the top basically. So that you get two loops like so. Then these two loops you push around the back like that. So you get, and then you put your log through them. So this would look much better on a big log. But that is a lark's head. So now, all we've got to do is test the swing. So I am going to be very gentle because I don't think my stick is very strong. So the joy of doing a overhand loop at the top means that you can take the rope down and take it home so you're not leaving anything in the woods. It's really important that we leave the woods if we find it. So that we take the rope home, the log, if you found it there, you can leave that there, but if you've taken one from home, why not keep it and take it back home so you can reuse it. Thank you for watching. Why not have a go making a log swing for 30 Days Wild and experience what it feels like to swing through the trees. Stay safe and stay wild.